Queen River really is something that's special. It brings the community together. It gives me a place to play and, and have a lot of fun. I would like to know how the river eventually ends up with the aquifer and back from the aquifer into the river. Uh, it's pretty interesting that there's a giant lake underneath us right now. Does our water come from a giant underground lake? Well, not exactly, but there is a hidden life of water that we can't see. And it's important to know where our water comes from so we know how to take care of it. The water that comes out of our faucets, the water we use to drink, brush our teeth, and take a shower, takes an interesting journey. We're going to explore the journey that water takes when it comes up from underground, into our houses, out of our taps, down the drain, and eventually back into the river. The hidden life of water begins when rain, rivers, and melting snow soak into the ground and flow slowly through buried sand and gravel in what is called an aquifer. In Missoula, the aquifer is about 30 to 60 feet below the ground you walk on. If you could dig a hole that deep, that's how far you'd have to go before you'd see sand and gravel becoming soaked with water. The water in the aquifer is called groundwater, and unlike a lake, it doesn't sit still. Our groundwater flows three to five feet per day from Hellgate Canyon west across the Missoula Valley. To get water out of the aquifer, we drill water wells into it and use pumps to bring the water up from underground. From wells, the water is pumped into tanks, through pipes, and into our homes when we turn on the tap. All the drinking water in Missoula comes from groundwater um, that is somewhat unique and we have a very prolific, very clean aquifer. We're very lucky here. All the water that we pump out of the ground meets all federal drinking water standards. This is one of 36 active wells that we have in our system. This particular well can pump 3,600 gallons a minute. In 2011 it pumped over a billion gallons of water just at this one particular site. This well pumps up to our Waterworks Hill Reservoir, which serves the entire north side of Missoula. Mountain Water Company has over 300 miles of water main in the ground, and we basically pump the water from any, you know, any given depth. Um, some of the ones on the valley floor down there are, you know, roughly 120 to 140 feet deep. We pump the water from there to the surface and then up to one of our storage tanks. We do use energy to pump our water out of the ground. We're probably one of Northwestern's more favorite customers, I suppose. <laughs> Conservation is a very important principle for Mountain Water Company and one way that we like to promote that is by encouraging people to become metered customers. Then they're better able to watch their water usage and to conserve. When we're done taking showers, washing dishes, or watering the lawn and garden, water either flows down the drain or soaks into the ground. Once again, our water is out of sight. But out of sight isn't out of mind, and the water isn't gone. It's just returned to its hidden life. I've, I've thought about when I flush my toilet quite a bit, and since it just gets flushed with a million other people or however many, it's really kind of interesting where it goes. I, I'm not sure. After water goes down the drain, it goes into sewer pipes if you live in the city, or into a septic system in your yard if you live outside the sewer system. Let's face it, this water is dirty, whether from the toilet, the washing machine, or the sink and it needs to be cleaned up before it goes back to the river or the aquifer. The dirty water that's collected in sewer pipes flows to the wastewater treatment plant that sits next to the river just past Reserve Street. The treatment plant uses filters and bacteria to eat the sludge and help purify the water. It's truly a living system, and like most living systems, it depends on a delicate balance. Once the water is cleaned up as much as it can be, it's piped into the Clark Fork River. If you live outside the sewer district, your dirty water flows to a septic system located on your property. Your septic system also depends on bacteria, as well as soil, to help clean and filter your wastewater before it trickles down to the aquifer. That's right, the same aquifer we drink from. The City of Missoula Wastewater Treatment Plant is treating about 8 million gallons of water a day. Um, that water comes to us 
through uh, underground collection pipes that gravity flow through the city. Most people don't know what happens to the water after it goes down the drain, and I know I didn't before I worked here. Uh, it just, you flush the toilet or run the water down the drain or down the shower, and it just goes away. Uh, but in fact, there's uh, a lot that goes into it. In the Headworks building, we do preliminary treatment where we remove uh, what we call grit and rags. Uh, it collects just sticks and rags and trash, anything that gets caught on that bar screen. Uh, that's raked off, it's washed and compacted, and it goes into a roll-off bin and uh, ends up going up to the landfill as trash, as, as waste. The uh, first real stage of treatment is primary treatment, where we remove about half of the pollutants. The tank is about 14 feet deep, it's cone-shaped on the bottom, and the purpose there is to uh, remove everything that is heavier than water, everything that settles out as a sludge. Now that suspended and dissolved material that's left is harder to get out, and so to remove that second half, we're using uh, naturally occurring bacteria to treat the water for us. And these zucleal bacteria have a sticky polysaccharide coating on their cell wall, and they form colonies like snowflakes. So as they tumble through the water, they stick to and glom onto that organic material that's left. Uh, they use it as a food source. Uh, they metabolize that organic waste and multiply and grow. One thing that can happen is if somebody dumps something toxic down the drain, herbicide or pesticide or some toxic material, it can kill that living sludge, those living bacteria, and then we lose our ability to treat the water. Remember that both septic systems and the wastewater treatment plant depend on live bacteria to help clean the water. Toxic things like pesticides, gasoline, paint, and medicines can kill the bacteria and upset the delicate balance these systems need. So it's really important to not dump chemical pollutants down the drain. If we work hard to keep pollutants out of our drains, it means we're keeping our hidden water clean. This makes a big difference for our aquifer, our rivers and streams, and the water we drink and use every day, too. Missoula's wastewater treatment plant goes a step further than just cleaning our wastewater. They also recycle some of the waste products into fertilizer and energy that they can use to run the plant. This helps reduce their carbon footprint and saves money, too. Uh, methane gas is the same natural gas that you buy from Northwest Energy or to heat your house. We collect that gas and burn it in our boilers to heat our buildings. The last step for us is dewatering, where we take that 2% solid solution and we concentrate it in a centrifuge. After we dewater it, it goes on a conveyor belt next door to Eco Compost. They take yard waste and wood waste and mix it with that municipal biosolids that the city of Missoula has created and they make compost that we can use on our gardens. From a nutrient standpoint, the biosolids are very important. Um, and so we're in Missoula, we're lucky to recover that resource. It's fun to take a tour of the wastewater treatment plant and learn more about the hidden life of water. When we understand more about where our water comes from and where it goes, we learn to take better care of it and keep it clean. Whenever um, the kids come on site, the first they they hold their nose and, and talk about the, the horrible smell and they ask me, how can I stand the smell? But I try to tell them that uh, it's, a, it's a natural thing uh, and we're not a donut factory. This is a, a large industrial facility where we um, you know, use these natural processes to treat the, to treat the water. And it's, it's very valuable to have the kids out here and see it and understand that there really is something that happens after that water goes down the drain. The river needs all of us to keep its waters flowing clean so that fish can swim, osprey can eat, and other wildlife can thrive. When we have clean water, we can continue to enjoy the songs of birds, catch a trout, or swim, raft, and float. Now, what are some things you can do to help keep our waters clean? Maybe pick up the trash that you see. If yeah. you're boating or swimming or something and you see trash, just pick it up. Yeah, like river cleanup. And get organized like a big group and then go down to the river and clean up.
Mountain Water would like to present the water wagon from Mountain Water Company. We use it for community events and emergency services. If you would like to schedule it, visit our website at mtnwater.com or contact the office.